Good morning, Mrs. B here. Today is June 12th of 2020, and my quote du jour is, all things are connected like the blood that unites us. We do not weave the web of life, we are merely a strand in it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. And that is a great quote by Chief Seattle. And today's story, I am going to get out of um, this book. It's called The Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Ch Tales by John Sheshka. And um, the illustrator is Lane Smith. And I was fortunate enough to meet John Sheshka at a Society of Children's Book Writers and Illustrators uh, conference. I, I actually bought this book online because it's like, um, it's got uh, autographs from the uh, illustrator as well but John um, Sheshka he like signed 15 books of mine or so so yeah, it is very nice we are going to begin with the stinky cheese man once upon a time there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived together in a little old house they were lonely so the little old lady decided to make a man out of stinky cheese she gave him a piece of bacon for a mouth and two olives for eyes and put him in the oven to cook. When she opened the oven to see if he was done, the smell knocked her back. Whew, what is that terrible smell, she cried. The stinky cheese man hopped out of the oven and ran out the door calling, Run, 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 fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. So the little old lady and the little old man sniffed the air. Mm, I'm not really very hungry, said the little old man. I'm not really all that lonely, said the little old lady. So they didn't chase the stinky cheese man. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met a cow eating grass in the field. Wow, what is that awful smell, said the cow. The stinky cheese man said, I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man. I can run away from you too. I can. Run, 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 fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. The cow gave another sniff and said, I'll bet you could give someone two or three stomach aches. I think I'll just eat weeds. So the cow didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. The stinky cheese man ran and ran until he met some kids playing outside school. Gross, said a little girl. What's that nasty smell? I've run away from a little old lady and a little old man and a cow, and I can run away from you too. I can run, 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 fast as you can. Can't catch me. I'm the stinky cheese man. A little boy looked up, sniffed the air, and said, Oh, if we catch him, our teacher will probably make us eat him. Let's get out of here. So the kids didn't chase the stinky cheese man either. By and by, the stinky cheese man came to a river with no bridge. How will I ever cross this river? It's too big to jump, and if I try to swim across, I'll probably fall apart, said you-know-who. Just then, the sly fox, who shows up in lots of stories like these, poked his head out of the bushes. Why, just hop on my back, and I'll carry you across, stinky cheese man. How do I know you won't eat me? said the stinky cheese man. Trust me, said the fox. So the stinky cheese man hopped on the fox's back. The fox swam to the middle of the river and said, Oh man, what is that funky smell? The cough gagged, or the fox coughed, gagged, and sneezed, and the stinky cheese man flew off his back and into the river where he fell apart. The end. I hope you enjoyed that silly story today. It's a good book. Perhaps I will do another story from there another time. Until then, you guys take care.